This lecture is in continuation with our previous class where we started the AM generation, where we started the topics of AM generation. आपके सिलेबस की जो हेडिंग है वो है स्टैंडर्ड एम जेनरेशन एंड डिटेक्शन जेनरेशन मीन्स दो मेथड जिससे आप एम सी को जेनरेट कर सकते हो डिटेक्शन मीन्स एक्चुअली डी मॉडलेशन गेट द पॉइंट तो डिटेक्शन विल बी सेपरेट हेडिंग एज ऑफ नाउ जेनरेशन वी हैव सीन ऑलरेडी वन मेथड ऑफ जेनरेशन नोन एज Eyes on board, please. No side talks. Focus, and let's do it fast because we have a lot to cover. When I talk about the frequency, I hope that you are able to vibrate with my vibration that is over here. When I talk about the fast, the frequency response of a band pass filter, it has to be, huh? F C minus omega minus F C plus omega. Do you get my point? Why? Because we need this band, right? So it has to be set to this only. Okay, if you just uh, recapture the diagram of a basic model later. यहाँ पे आपके पास क्या था वहाँ पे? इस ब्लॉक के बदले इस ब्लॉक के बदले क्या था स्केल और डिवाइस यहां पे आपके पास है स्विचिंग डिवाइस यहां पे बैंड बस फिल्टर को है तो ये सो ऑल ऑफ द डायग्राम इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम यहां पे लिखिए द स्विचिंग डिवाइस द स्विचिंग डिवाइस is actually an ideal diode ठीक switching device is an ideal diode ठीक है so let's do this analysis now the analysis part you can write analysis or write the like Let's assume that switching device is nothing but the diode. अच्छा इस switching device की पहले जरा हम internal diagram देखें क्या हो सकती है। Carrier, carrier. This is carrier. I can just write C O C. That's it. 
जिसको जो मिस हो गया ना उसको रहने दो आगे चलो बिकॉज मैंने समझाना अब शुरू किया है डोंट वरी ओके स्विचिंग डिवाइस इज एक्चुअली डायोड सो आई वुड लाइक दिस वे डायोड इन पर इज इक्वल टू वी आर राइट इनपुट टू द डायोड इज वी आई but vi is actually the summation of the two signals which is m of v plus c of vi is c cos of two by c t please remember one point previous modulator jo tha humne kaha wahan pe jo power tha ya amplitude tha hamare carrier or message signal ka in previous method of modulation The amplitude of the carrier and modulating signal both was in millivolts, microvolts. Do you remember that? Why? 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 Yes, because we had to operate the diode in the non-linear region, and it happened to be in the low region. यहाँ पे वो constraint नहीं है. In this modulator, this is known as a high power modulator. We do not have any constraint on the carrier, so. Right, the power of carrier can be in megavolts. Power of carrier can be in can be in oh can be in the power of carrier can be in. Have you written that? You need a different condition to write. That is very high strength. Point number two. However, message signal. However, message signal. However, message signal will have a very low strength. However, message signal will have very low strength. therefore the operation of ideal diode ye point hai isko hash karke rakho i will be the power of the carrier will can be in megavolts while as that of or i would say the amplitude of the carrier can be in mega uh, abhi high ab so ki the amplitude of carrier can be very high while as the amplitude of the matrix signal is low ab point dikhna hai jo the conclusion jo hai wo ye hai सो so, ये पॉइंट लिखिए ऊपर वाले दो पॉइंट्स पे एक मिनट छोड़िए सो द ऑपरेशन सो द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द आइडियल डायोड इज मेनली कंट्रोल्ड बाय द कैरियर ये पॉइंट था आया समझ सो द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द आइडियल डायोड इज मेनली कंट्रोल्ड बाय द कैरियर सिग्नल जब मेरा डायोड फॉरवर्ड बायस है 
हाँ मेरा डायोड फॉरवर्ड बायस है जो मैंने इनपुट में दिया वही एज इट इज आउटपुट में आएगा राइट ठीक है तो ना लेट्स फोकस ऑन दिस थिंग माय स्टेरियन सिग्नल मेनली कंट्रोल्स द डायोड यस एक्चुअली जो हमने डायोड को इनपुट दिया था That was Vi, but Vi is sum of m of t plus c of t. Like I have said, m of t is very low, so it is actually you can take c of t as the main controlling agency that controls the biasing of the diode. Am I? Are you following? Are you following? Yes. No, yes or no? Yes. So therefore, my carrier, I focus on my carrier. When my carrier is greater than zero, by I mean, uh, its value. This will result in forward biasing of the diode. Therefore, as good as a short circuit, which means V2 is equal to V i. Yeah, V1. V2. What is V2? Output, Output voltage of the. Yeah. What is V2? What is V2? Manzwa. Gentlemen, what is V2? V2. Very quick, yes or no? Do you know the answer? What is V2? But Baman, output. Why? Why is not ready? But where? I have not taken a cup of coffee or tea in the morning. You should have. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <laughs> when c of t is less than zero, this will result in the reverse biasing of the diode. Reverse bias means open circuit. Therefore, your V2 is equal to zero. I'll just remake the circuit. This is your V i. This is your V2. Okay. I is on board, please. I is on board, please. This is your V i. This is your V2. Okay. Is that okay? इसके बाद देखिए अच्छा एक एक और point आपका आपको क्या ये सिग्नल है that looks like something like this right so हम इसको ऐसे assume करेंगे assumption बनाएंगे और ये positive cycle ये diode will be This is your carrier signal. Carrier signal controls the operation of your diode. Are you convinced at this? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes. Now, the nature of the carrier signal will determine the operation. So, for your pulse to uh, say part of the signal, can I say that my diode will be forward biased? Let's assume. And for the negative part, your diode will be reverse biased. Okay. Therefore, the output of the Therefore, the output of the diode continuously continuously switches between. Therefore, the output of the diode continuously switches between. Ah, uh, any idea? Continuously switches between B I and zero. It continuously output of the diode, which is nothing but V2. V2 continuously switches between VI and zero. For one cycle will be VI, for one cycle will be zero. VI zero. But what will be the frequency of the switching? That will be obviously dependent upon this frequency also. So you can say it continuously switches between VI and zero with time period one by FC with time period one by FC. With time period one by FC,
full stop. Since V2 is switching, since V2 is switching very fast, since V2 is switching very fast, since V2 is switching very fast, between V i and 0, since V2 is switching very, very fast between V i and 0, क्या है इसके दो वैल्यूज़ V i और 0 के बीच में स्विच कर रहा है ना ये वो इनको therefore therefore we multiply V i therefore we multiply V i therefore we multiply V i with a function with a fun with a gain pulse function therefore we multiply V i with a gain pulse function gain pulse function such that V2 is equal to VI into GPT gain pulse function Why? We won't go into the details of derivation as of now because for you, that's why I checked the syllabus. Uh, I don't want to waste time unnecessarily on certain topic elaborating it so much. Why? GPT is given as 1 by 2 plus summation of n going from 1 to infinity the output of your event pass method. All these will be odd pass units, they are higher pass units, which are done for concern. 
Therefore, we use, we use a proper band bus in order to filter out the required signal only. Hence, S of AM will look like this AC by 2, 1 plus 4 by this into M of T. simple and cost effective whereas whereas
both flow methods will be simple and cost effective. Whereas method three, that is in process detection, will be complex and costly. First two methods are simple and cost effective, whereas the third method is complex and costly. Therefore, the value of mu should be properly set. Should be properly set. Should be properly set at the time of modulation. At the time of Is there? Okay, I'm going to pass pause to get it done by the way. The first method, square law. First thing first, the block diagram. Now, when we talk about a demodulator, antenna receives a signal. Which signal? Modulated signal. And that new modulated signal is nothing but S of M of T. That antenna uses this modulated signal to the demodulator scare law device. It happens again to be a scare law device. But what is the difference between a modulator and a demodulator? Here the filter used will be a low pass filter such that it generates the M of T, which happens to be the low frequency signal. The response of this filter would be, if this is line 0, this is omega, this is minus omega. That is low frequency square target filter. This is not a band pass filter now. Let's say this out over here is denoted as V out. Okay? Scalar device input me aa raha hai S of A M of T. Yeah, main isko thoda B I likh deta hu. So we know by the property of scalar device, B output is A one of B I. If you remember, A two of B I scalar and so many higher order terms. We will neglect that for now. V I. What is V I? V I का value क्या है? A will be what is the value of V I? What is the value of V I? Look on the board. No, it is S of A M of T. You are right. It is the input voltage, but that's what I am asking. What is the value of this input voltage for the circuit now? For the circuit, value of input voltage is nothing but S of A M. So I replace this V I by S of A M of T plus A two into S of A M of T square. Are you following me so far? Is it okay? Any complex thing I am discussing? Not at all. Right? This we have already discussed. Now we have to see how this boils down to the message signal. Or how we extract the message signal from this. Okay, let me expand this. If A1, we will need some patience for this first method. Other methods we can derive directly. But I hope you will try to understand this first one. No side talks, please. Anyone found? Will be found in outside of the class.
I don't think I have used any specific method, but it will do will actually uh, reach to this conclusion from this conclusion. It is evident itself. This signal is nothing but the AM signal and multiplied by A1, which is A1 in the S of AM. Eisenberg, please. This signal over here is A square plus B square plus 2AB for this S of AM because we know S of AM is this and this happens to be A, this happens to be B. So A square plus B square plus 2A, uh, A -B -B. 2 AB is yes. square in here, I see. Uh, okay. Right, 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 right. This is very easy. Because AC is the two times. This may be AC, but this may be AC, either AC, cost, either cost, either cost. So this is very easy. Thank you. Omega belongs to the message in the morning. 
जो भी कोई हाईएस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी जो भी वो सारी फ्रीक्वेंसी क्या हो जाएगी ब्लॉक तो मुझे कौन सा वाला पार्ट मिलेगा खाली जहां पे हम अपनी है सो आई विल बी एबल टू गेट माय मैसेज सिग्नल बैक अगेन समझ आया नहीं समझ आया आई विल रीड अगेन पुनः वाला नहीं समझ आया खड़े हो जाओ चलो समझाओ सर आपने बोला कि क्लियर है कि इसमें लिखिए, इसमें लिखिए, तो क्या लिखा आपने? 
we may use additional filters and amplitude limiters we may use additional filters additional filter is liye and amplitude limiters to extract the original signal m of t which is not but is that okay do you follow this method raise your hand jisko samajh nahi aaya raise your hand kitne jane samajh okay not a big concern yahan tak samajh aaya hai na yahan tak samajh aaya hai देखो जी इस वाले इन दो सिग्नल्स में हम इस सिग्नल को बिकॉज स्क्वायर टर्म ट्रीट करते हैं एज नॉइज वी ट्रीट दिस एज नॉइज सिग्नल सो वी विल ब्लॉक दिस आल्सो बाय यूजिंग अप्रोप्रिएट फिल्टर जो एम ऑफ टी स्क्वायर वाले टर्म को ब्लॉक कर देगा तो उससे ये सारा ब्लॉक हो गया डन अब बचा ये वाला सिग्नल ये वाला सिग्नल भी अभी एम ऑफ टी नहीं है इसके पास भी एक एडिशनल एम्पलीट्यूड पार्ट डू यू फॉलो इज दिस एन एम्पलीट्यूड पार्ट यस और नो So I will use an amplitude limiter. So besides that, I extract original M of t by use of this. मतलब तो अगर मेरा suppose M of t इस तरह से था, जब इसके साथ ये वाला eyes on board, जब इसके साथ ये वाला additional uh, value होगा, तो मेरी मुझे कुछ इस तरह का signal मिलेगा, लेकिन ये तो मेरा actual signal नहीं है. So I will use an amplitude limiter that will finally reduce it to exactly what was transmitted. So this is how we adjust. To get our final message signal, that is M of T, and the final R. You can take a break of.